Star Wars Lethal Alliance. If you never heard of this one, it's probably because it came out around the same time as the Wii and PS3, so not the greatest release window, but is the game any good? Let's find out. Hello there, C-3PO died in my blaster. <laughs> he just exploded. Sorry, green R2-D2, I have to shoot you too. Oh, I can't aim down? Aim down. How do I aim down? <laughs> you're lucky you're so short, R2. You win this battle. Kyle Katarn, what happened to your face? You look better 10 years ago. I have heard a lot about you. Right back at you, Kyle. I loved your old video games. They were good. Oh no, red lasers, the ultimate in Imperial security. However, will I get past? To enter close combat, approach the enemy until Rihanna is armed with the Thorn of Ryloth. Can't wait for the Disney Plus show about the Thorn of Ryloth and how only a Twi'lek with the Thorn can be the true uniter of the Twi'lek people. The show will start off with this orange lady as the main character, but then in season three, some green guy will appear and take over the whole show. Also, there will be a baby Greedo. Say it with me, everybody. They've gone up the ventilation shaft. Man, Coruscant crosswalks are not very safe. You gotta hang upside down off of a robot and just go whoa, 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 and hope a car doesn't kill you. Anakin, do you remember? Remember the part of the movie where I grab Zam Wessel's drone? That was an exciting chase scene, Anakin. Let's put that in a video game, Anakin. Man, traffic in Coruscant sucks. There's a lot of space pylons on the 405 today. She really hated that guy, dang. That was the first enemy whose death she celebrated with a fist pump. When do I fight the stormtroopers? I'm tired of fighting the same three alien models. I wanna fight one stormtrooper model for the rest of the game instead. Here at the Rebel Alliance, we have some aliens, some humans, you know. We're all working together to make the galaxy a better place, except for Cory and screw those guys. That was a condition for Admiral Akbar to give him the fleet. He said, I'll give you the Mon Cal cruisers, but we have to genocide all the Quarians. And Mom Mothman was like, hey, it's kind of messed up, but his ship is really nice. I do want a spaceship. And Luthan was like, Cassian Ander, I'm gonna send you on a morally gray mission, Cassian Ander, that no one else will do, Cassian Ander. You have to go kill all the squid guys, Cassian Ander. Why should I listen to a thing you say? Because Cassian Ander, my ship has lightsabers on it, Cassian Ander. Um, actually, the squid people are named Quarren, not Quarian. This guy pronounced the name of the squid people in Star War wrong. The best way to get YouTube comments is to say something wrong about obscure Star Wars lore. In my Revenge of the Sith video, I implied that I was calling an arc fighter an X-Wing, even though I didn't call it an X-Wing, guys. I know the Ark Fighter's not an X-Wing, but I implied that it was an X-Wing, and I got like 200 comments. I'm gonna call every clone trooper the 501st Legion now. That's not the 501st! That's the 212th Airborne! Honestly, though, I'm the last person who can make fun of Star Wars nerds, because I am one. One year, I got the Star Wars Dictionary for Christmas, and I read the whole thing. That was a very good time investment, because none of that is canon anymore, thanks, Disney. At least they're rebooting Thrawn. So much useless Star Wars knowledge in my brain. Why do I know what Canto Bite is? I don't want to remember the name of Canto Bite, but I do. Her blaster bolts are pink. It's kind of an unusual color. The only pink character in Star Wars is Pink 5. Do you think you could give me a hand? <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's Star Wars' hand. That's a pretty good joke, Pink Five. This is a story Maz cannot have had for another time. We finally know how Rey got the lightsaber. Pink Five gave it to her. Look at Sheev. Here he comes. <laughs> Pink Five blew him up. Good job, Pink Five. That's why I was so mad when the dead spoke, because Pink Five clearly killed him in the movie. There's no way he survived that. Is this really the most efficient way to navigate Mustafar? They do have walkways here, you know. You don't have to use the lava river like Tahu Bionicle. Can I kill Chewbacca? Oh no, I'm so sorry, Wookiee. Mommy, I thought you said Daddy would be home to celebrate Life Day. Don't worry, sweetie, he'll he'll be here to celebrate Life Day with us. He's probably just running late at his shift in the Imperial Mines on Mustafar. Actually, no, Wookiees don't talk like that. <laughs> that, that conversation would just be... Did he stun me? She look good in chains. The heck he hit me with the stun beam? Is this the first ever game where the Stormtroopers used a stun beam? Dude, they captured me, what? That's the most competent stormtrooper tactic ever. Give that guy a promotion. Listen, don't tell anybody, but I'm really a Twi'lek in disguise as a stormtrooper. How does a Twi'lek wear a stormtrooper helmet? Don't think about it, because the developers of the game clearly didn't. This is that room where Anakin and Obi-Wan were fighting and they stood on the table and went, Ugh, at each other. This game came out one year after Revenge of the Sith, so it has to have all the movie locations, even if it makes no sense for the story. The Mustafar economy probably really suffered when Darth Vader died. Probably half of their population was dedicated to like being the janitor for his castle. Stay back, TIE fighters, you'll never get Am I a JPEG of Mustafar? This reminds me of Star Wars Arcade. If you never played this Star Wars Arcade cabinet, you're missing out. This also reminds me of the Flight of the Falcon turret sections. If you haven't played Flight of the Falcon, you aren't missing out. Like, favor, subscribe if you want the next video on this channel to be a Flight of the Falcon long play. Here goes nothing. 
Tatooine is not a very safe place to live for Greedos. If you're a Rodian, you should move somewhere else. It's not a great spot to be. Hmm, I think I will become C-3PO now. Oh, I'm not C-3PO. I'm the droid that gives... <laughs> I'm the droid that gives Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan the drinks. My name is C-3PO, Human Knife Relations. Again, I'm pretty sure this is like a holographic disguise, and I, I don't know how that works when she has head tails. Luke's speeder with a gun on it, that's unrealistic. This is Lethal Alliance, not Battlefront 1. Luke, I told you not to sell your speeder to the Empire. Ah, uh, come on, Ben, they gave me a great deal on my trade-in. Did you try taking the vehicle to Watto? He may have given you a fair price. Uh... Welcome to my tutorial on how to kill Greedo. To kill Greedo, take out your sniper rifle, and and shoot him in his Greedo groin. Ow, my junkie! Honey, I installed that new garbage disposal you were asking for. Uh, this is just a Sarlacc pit in our basement? Yeah, but it accomplishes the same thing, and for much cheaper. This isn't even a new Sarlacc pit, it's a used model. Oh, come on, nothing's wrong with it. All that happened is Boba Fett escaped it and blew it up a few times. A few times? Yeah, you know, he escapes the Sarlacc pit like 25 different times in Star Wars. Every three or four years, there's a new story of how he got out of there. Good news, Lord Vader. I've just confirmed my pre-order for Assassin's Creed. Valhalla DLC campaign. I've played every Assassin's Creed game since the series inception. That's why they say the dead sneak. Lord Vader, do you agree that the Ezio trilogy was the peak of the Assassin's Creed franchise? Yes, my master. Brotherhood is my favorite one, personally. However, Origins was good as well. I was kind of disappointed by Assassin's Creed 3, however. Yes, Lord Vader, we all were. Atham Kenway was a much more compelling character than Connor, but he died at the end of the game. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming out to the annual walking at ATST down a hallway convention. Just uh, keep doing what you're doing. Good work. My god, my analysis reveals the Empire built this entire base out of Toa Mata heads. Death Star construction site? This isn't Scarif. Whoever made this game didn't even know the lore of Star Wars. There's not even any beach troopers here, just normal guys. How am I gonna make a million dollars on merchandise without death troopers? This game is so disrespectful to the Star Wars lore. Like, look at this. The Empire would never have railings over their bottomless chasms. Dude, the Death Star plans are orange, and so is the main character from this game. That's why she's the one who had to steal them, because they're both orange. That's official canon, and you can't argue with me, because I've read the entire Star Wars dictionary, which I guarantee you've not done. I am the final boss, robot. You have no chance of defeating me. Star Wars Lethal Alliance, a Ubisoft Montreal game. This is a Star Wars game for five-year-old children, because it basically plays itself. You just kind of walk forward and hit shoot for like six hours. On PSP, you can play Battlefront, 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 Star Wars The Force Unleashed, or this one. I'm going to say don't play this one. The only thing this game has going for it is this is the real story of how the Death Star plans were stolen. It was Orange Lady from Star Wars PSP. It says so in the Star Wars Dictionary. <laughs> 